of like instead of putting Halloween scary things in the backyard, they put like taxes, inflation, <laughs> like little signs of like scary words like calories. <laughs> I was like, ah, that's even more scary than people. Yeah, it's more scary. I'm like, this is too realistic. Public yeah. speaking. <laughs> <laughs> snuck in and I always find it important to acknowledge guests yeah I'm sorry you might blush now but would you please tell us who you are and have you been here before and if you already have joined us once tell us why you're here again sure um, it's nice to be here my name is Nikki Nicole White I'm a training officer with the division of nuclear security at the IAEA and this is my second time visiting um, I'm interested in Toastmasters because I think that public speaking is a really important skill and it's something that I feel I can always grow and improve upon. Um, so I'm interested in joining and I'm here to observe again. So thank you for having me. And thank you for joining. We've missed Halloween by about a week, but you're welcome to take one of these treats. And please pass it around because I don't need to eat any chocolate. Thank you. Now I start with my evaluation. Ben, you're so charming. You, you could say anything and you would win me over. You would really win me over. I mean, you were just standing here and wow. I'm not harassing you. <laughs> I love the choice of your title. It gave us a little bit of an idea, and I know your background, so I kind of suspect it. But every choice matters. I thought that was so getting me into the spirit and, you know, what you're going to talk about. So I loved your start with one, two. And I knew where you were going with it. I knew absolutely. It was fun when you put on those eyeglasses. You know, ordinarily people don't use props, but you put them on and you started to sound like somebody else. It wasn't Ben anymore. And I was convinced it was going to be a politician who was trying to explain why they haven't kept their promise that they made at the Paris Accord. But it wasn't another person. It was you, just another facet of you. I thought the structure of your speech was exceptional, particularly the way you broke it down, a very complex subject, into the three pillars. Although I was a little bit confused. The first pillar is sobriety or priority? Sobriety. Sobriety, okay, well let's drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing, I thought it was really perfect, sobriety, efficiency, and awareness. And you gave us concrete examples about your friend who has his own particular way of, you know, sort of handling everything. I thought you could have been a little bit more effective when you talked about green tech solutions. You said green tech solutions. Emphasize the green that it comes across to us. It was very clever the way you used your other passion, the other club activity that you're involved with, to basically promote it and recruit people from in here. I thought that was brilliant. Very clever. The other thing I liked was the way that you closed your speech. You know, it started out with every choice matters, and then you tied all of this together after weaving a beautiful story of what was going on, and basically your conclusion 
was every choice matters. I wish the, wish the world would listen to people like them. We need it. And with that, I conclude my evaluation. Look forward to future speeches. Oh, one thing. You can use a little more passion in your voice and in your body language, because I know you're passionate about the subject. But for whatever reason, that somehow didn't come through. Make us feel how strongly you are about saving the earth, protecting our climate. Make us feel it. Make us see it. Make us hear it. And with that, I conclude my evaluation and return control of the meeting to the general evaluator, Toastmaster Cortana. Now we will continue with the second part, where the evaluation team will give us the report. All right, I will start with the grammarian, to Mr. Nicole. I'm sending you this, I don't want to keep it on my back all the time. So thank you, Gordana. I did try really hard to spot or to find grammatical mistakes, but I didn't find many, I must admit. I will mention two, because they tend to come quite often. I, of course, tend to be corrected by the English speakers, the native speakers, but when you say, you don't have to use a pronoun twice in English. You don't say, my costume, it was the best. Drop the it. That might be something you use in German, but not in English. My costume was the best, or whatever. But don't repeat the pronoun it. And I think that was Julia. <laughs> but that's, the, that's uh, not a grammatical mistake, totally, but it's life. Was it you who used the word like all the time, or somebody else? It was, it was, no, sorry, sorry, it was Monica, it was Monica, <laughs> Monica, it was, it was like a superstitious, it was like, you know, it's like in, in a sentence which are not necessary, it's like kind of, or, but this is more for you, I think, uh, Rina, you know, for you to spot the feeling, but apart from that, I must say that I didn't speak didn't find many grammatical mistakes, but I did find a lot of nice words and nice expression, especially you, Gordana. You keep using the expression without further ado. I know that we later, <laughs> but without further ado is without uh, delay uh, right away. But I like the expression. We had a lot of uh, complicated words from um, Benjamin. <laughs> I think the first one was anecdotal. That's the one. Sobriety, I like, and decolonization, and just to mention a few words. But the other expression I like about Halloween is trick or treat. I like that one. And one by um, Lily, multiplying negativity. Well, wow, that's a hard one. And good vibes, those two. That, oh no, sorry, and about the word of the day, Halloween. I think uh, at the beginning you saw that that was not going to be used uh, quite often, but it was. <laughs> By Julia Vera, you, you used it at least once. Astrid, of course, many times. And Sarah, you used it, of course. And uh, Julia, of course, you used it. And Maria Teresa. So that ends my report. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, well, I think it'll go to Lily for multiplying negativity. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much. That was not as scary as we thought it was going to be. <laughs> and indeed, we did use Halloween more often than I thought we could. Um, all right, let's continue with the timekeeper which is a timekeeper, also a ballot counter, because it's the same person for today, <laughs> that's Monica. Monica, you can do this here. So, Madam Evaluator, this is my report. Uh, Benjamin spoke for 6 minutes and 13 minutes, so perfectly within the time. Uh, for the table topics, Julia spoke for 1 minute 40 minutes, uh, 1 minute 40 seconds. 
Pilar, 1 minute 4 seconds. Aizko for 127. Lili, 143. And I also timed uh, Maria Teresa, who spoke for 2.45, so perfectly on time. <laughs> Thank you. Back to you. <laughs> Uh, um, uh, no, at the end, at the end, yeah, I'm sorry. We have the uh, uh, counter, Rina, the floor is yours. For the Toastmasters, honored guests, uh, I was counting, like I said, on the repetition and uh, things like that. Julia, I counted nine times. Mm -hmm. Astrid, you're a newcomer, you should join our club <laughs> because you. I mean, when I count it, you use a lot of arms, arms, uh, very often. So it is interesting if you know that <coughs> when you listen to a politician, then you understand how what bad, bad speakers they are. So for you, I counted actually 14 times, Gordana three times, Monica five times, Yulia, oh, okay, the, Yulia, you are nine times. This Yulia only once. Pina four times. Lily only once. This ends my report. And we will go back uh, now to Monica because she's also the ballot counter. She will announce the winner of the today's topics, Master Speaker. Yes, so the best single topic speaker today was Lily. <laughs> So the general evaluation of the overall meeting. As we all know, and I'm very strict on that part, we started late. And I don't like that part. I don't like to start late, especially because we have people that have to go back to work and so on and so forth. But we managed to finish even earlier than the regular time. So we made it. Uh, I think sometimes, you know, we have to get used to like different situations. This is, you know, part of being resilient. So this is part of the exercise. So we did start late, but we ended up quite on time, if not even early. So that part, I'm really happy about it for today's meeting. Um, we usually introduce the guests in, uh, beforehand, and I'm very happy that Maria Teresa did not forget that to introduce everybody. But I'm especially happy that she did not forget even later on to include our late ar arrival. Um, because I was a little worried I saw her you know, coming late, but you did think of that and I really like that part. Maria Teresa, thank you very much. Uh, in regards to our roles, uh, we struggled a bit because we didn't have roles signing up on time. But again, this is part of res being resilient and we even had a visitor taking over an important role. And once again, I have to congratulate you on this because it's very important. <laughs> uh, our expectations, really. So I really enjoyed that part. And thank, thank you for taking the role. Uh, we also had people who um, volunteered other roles, like Wei Rong, she tried to take videos because we thought our camera is not here yet. Right. She's also, yeah, but yeah, it was, uh, she managed on time, but you offered, so that was very good. And also Monica taking on two roles for the day. Mm -hmm. So thank you. <laughs> Again, you know, when I started and I saw the agenda with missing so many roles, I got a little nervous, like, oh, who's, who's this and who's that? But again, we managed, and that's important, you know, in meetings like this, in any kind of meetings, because we are actually uh, experiencing real life situations here. Um, and the next part um, that I would like to say about, you know, um, mine and the general evaluator Emilia's uh, role as a topics master, we did uh, forget some things at the beginning, <laughs> and again, but we managed. I think it was. Um, it's also sometimes um, good to to um, mention certain things. Oh, you know, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. So we are all people, we are all humans at the end of the day, and this is okay, we are learning uh, every single day. Um, 
the word of the day I thought at the beginning was very challenging <laughs> because I, I'm not, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of Halloween, so I was like, wow, how would I use that? But at the end of the day, along with the topics master, it worked very well, and that um, that made me, you know, uh, made me realize that sometimes maybe I judge too fast. <laughs> um, so let it let it play, let it roll as it is. Um, I would like to, yeah, oh no, the evaluator, I forgot that part. Um, I really liked your very strong opening. <laughs> it's always amazing. <laughs> a very strong opening, very clear and organized speech. And I like the part that you gave, um, you know, not only positive remarks, but also feedback where he can improve in certain areas. Um, I thought that at the beginning, you know, I started writing on things that we can improve, oh, the timing, oh, this and that, but somehow it, at the end now, I feel like regardless of those stuff, we, we actually managed very well. And I will end with a positive note. I will end with a note, um, with a quote that I actually read this morning from Simon Simic. He's a, he's a consultant for leadership. Um, and uh, the quote said, we are not aiming, we are not striving for perfection, uh, for a goal of perfection, but we are striving just to be better tomorrow. And let us not forget that. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone for active participation. It was my first time to be a Toastmasters. And I look again today, but it was still a lot of missing places. I think, okay, how I can do it? So it was a little bit improvisation, but it works well. Today we had a really amazing journey in Toastmaster. We started from every chairs matters, but remind us again what actually it's we are who is responsible for what happens with us. We continue with the Halloween, we smiled, we enjoyed this day. So thank you again for your active participation and then everyone please give me a call to Maria Teresa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You were exceptional in your role as Toastmaster of the Day. I know you were worried about it. Just like I worry about looking at Easy Speak and not seeing people signed up for roles. You know, everybody gets an invitation to a meeting. It happened on Thursday that I sent out and please sign up for vacant roles. Some people don't even confirm that they're coming to a meeting. That makes my life really difficult. Please go easy on me. Go easy on me. So enough of negative consequences. It's time to award the best table topic speaker to Toastmaster Lily. Now, I know you were incredible, Astrid. I've never, Gordon is absolutely right. I've never had a, a guest actually deliver a table topic session. You do deserve lots of applause for that. But tell me, what were your impressions of the meeting? Well, uh, good. I mean, for me, uh, I learned a lot and I, I will continue. <laughs> yeah, good. Perfect. Where you are, this is the third meeting. Do we get better? Do we get worse? What did you feel about it? <laughs> yes, don't be afraid. I, 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 <laughs> I, I think in general, every single time when I do come to this meeting, my third time being now, I always learn so much from every single person. From the speeches, from how, how you present their table topics or whatever role that's taken on. I was particularly inspired by the different table topic speeches as well as Benjamin's speech today, you know, incorporating props when you speak, incorporating a lot of personal experiences, making it relatable, as well as being a bit more philosophical, which I very much enjoy. So again, I learned so much, and I am going to sign up as a member as soon as I get off. Yeah. <laughs>
to my ears. Julia, you're a former member and you are not going to be permanently in Vienna. So I was able to drag you into the Toastmasters meeting today. What do you think? Uh, you have experienced some earlier days. Uh, we're a little bit smaller. Mm. We're working on our gender balance, by the way, as you can see. Bravo, bravo, bravo. But what did you think about today's meeting? Uh, first, with the gender balance, thank you, men. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. Uh, no, it's amazing because the time I left, it was still mid-COVID and we still did not have the in-person meetings and it was like all the mass in the corner, so it was a bit awkward. So it's glad to see that now I guess we have a, 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 um, a hybrid system, but it's good to be no, not hybrid. Uh -huh. I don't know what's happening now. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, but it, it is good and this reminds me of like I have not spoken in front of a crowd in like two years because all my work is as well online so it's um it's interesting just to be back to to speak with real humans thank you Julia. we're not going hybrid thank god because i personally don't like hybrid we're going to have two in-person meetings alternating between um two in person alternating with an online Okay. So if there's an online meeting, maybe we could get our organizer to send you the team's meeting link and we could yeah. somehow see you that way. Yes, I'll sneak in back into the team then. <laughs> in any event, I, I, I'm not a fan of hybrid. I, I like it either one way or the other. So the gentleman, what were your impressions of the meeting? It was good to be in this meeting and uh, like this is my first Toastmaster session so I was still kind of picking up like how it works, uh, like what is her role and what are the speakers role and everything. So it was good to be part of this one and I'm really amazed with the kind of confidence each and every speaker had while they were saying whatever, whether they were saying on topic or they were evaluating or whatever. So I really like the confidence which they presented themselves. So thank you for your positive reaction to our meeting and our members. You know, it's, it's nice to hear something good. Next person, Tudor. I remembered your name this time. <laughs> what did you. you think of our meeting? Well, I, 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 I registered and paid uh, membership fee already, so there is no way back from. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it is. There is no return. Huh? There is no return, and um, I'm, I'm very positive about this club, and I see a lot of good energy and um, people that really want to improve, and that's that's really great, and I'm looking forward. Hi, I do like the meeting. You know, I see the you know the lot of positivity and you know the uh, kind of you know the getting back to the you know the normal routine and interacting with the you know the people. And I really like the way the mentor speaks. So that was very really, really really nice. And uh, you know the way he's presented, uh, I really you know appreciate it. So probably yeah. Uh, I'm uh, already old member, but I joined, but I didn't get any, did anything. So probably I'm thanking you, you know. Well, but just thank you, thank you very much for your <laughs> um, Our vice president uh, at present is on mission. So in case you've been trying to touch base with her, you probably haven't had any luck. If you want me to basically forward your email or your interest to her, I'd be glad to. Just come up to me after the meeting. So Alejandra, what did you think of this meeting? Um, actually, I'm very happy that I took the step in coming to the meeting. I'm really happy. I was very curious about the structure, and now I have a better idea. And I like um, the, the honest and direct feedback that you have, and the really nice and positive vibe, as I said to you at the beginning. It's very constructive, and uh, I, yeah, I look forward to it next time. Great. <laughs> And I'm not going to forget you, Nikki. What did you <laughs> think of the meeting? Oh, it, it was really enjoyable. My apologies for joining late. Um, you know, uh, my regular work did run into the meeting time, but I, I felt that it was important to come, even if it was just for part of it. I really appreciate the positivity and the structure within the meeting. I was a Toastmaster in the U.S., and it was a much smaller group. We had maybe 10 people total. So this is a larger club than the one that I, I was a part of for a few years. 
But I think that that's really nice because uh, in, in my current role within the agency, I'm going to have to speak to larger groups. And so I think it's really good to be able to practice. Um, I also appreciate hearing a variety of voices and learning from other people who've also moved. Um, and, and I do have just mm -hmm. one question. Sure. Because the first time I came, it was in a, a different meeting room. It was much longer. Oh. This time, I kind of wandered the halls to find this spot. Mm -hmm. um, and I like the, I like this. I like this space, but I'm curious, will it stay the same? Does it change? And will we have an opportunity to actually give presentations in some of the larger conference rooms? Well, I think that sounds like this is for the executive committee. We were kicked out of AO671. We miss you, Tristan. We miss you dearly. We could no longer keep that room, so people were then, you know, scurrying around trying to find a suitable meeting room. We've had people who have actually got lost coming over here. And it is a bit of a trek if you're working in the A building, but in the B building it's even worse. In any event, I will forward your comments to the executive committee because we were also contemplating perhaps getting a conference room, mm -hmm. a full-fledged conference room, although we have to be careful because we're a club activity and we certainly don't have the priority of an actual working meeting. But I take your point and that will get forwarded. So, my last comment. Yes. Sorry, you were you were you were a guest. Does anybody have any other yeah. questions or points of order? Gordana, we finished early because we only had one speaker. Yeah. And I totally agree with you that we should not start late. No, but we were waiting to have basically everything videoed or filmed or camera or whatever we want to call it. So I think there was a reason why we could start late. Any other feedback, reactions, questions? Yeah, just one more reminder, social event, 10th November. I was going to get to that, but thank you, Rina. <laughs> so, yes, good no. <laughs> thank you. I wanted to consult you in the so, yeah, so no. He mentioned that he likes how we, we all oh, did not have that. Thank you. 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 He mentioned uh, that he likes how we all look confident as speakers. I just wanted to say we're not. <laughs> we're here for that. Uh, yeah, just to make it more comfortable for everybody. everybody. Well, I, yes, please. And then it's okay. Now, can I just take, take your point there? You know, it doesn't come naturally. People say, you know, yeah. you're a born speaker. I had to work very hard to be able to stand in front of this podium and look at you all and feel confident. But you know what it is? It's practice. It's doing it often. It's stepping out, giving the icebreaker speech, being involved in the speech contest. You know, all of these things where you're going outside of your comfort zone. So I did want to mention, because I feel obliged to sell it, to repeat it again, our next meeting will be in person in this room on the 13th of December. No, we, the second, the second, the second, the second, oh, I beg your pardon, Rita. Thank you very much. I can't read my own writing. 22nd of November. <coughs> and 13th of December in person, but sooner than that is the 10th of November, we will have a social get together. And if you're interested in having anything to do with that, please contact Ria, who as our social event coordinator, I've written her email down here. It's this coming Thursday. And sorry, may I, may I ask something about the end of the year party? Certainly. Oh, because the, uh, the end of the year party will be held here, I mean here in the building, in the F10, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the tradition is that people try and bring a dish, traditional dish from their country. It can be something very small, something bigger. And I think that if you want to bring something, if you want to come to the party and if you want to bring something, again, I'll talk to Ria and tell her that you're prepared to, to let us uh, taste a little bit of uh, your country's specialty. Thank you. I'll never forget the chili con carne that I brought one time to one of our meetings, and I had an Indian gentleman who was raving. He said, Maria Terry says, the best chili con carne I ever ate. I felt so flattered because I love Indian cuisine. So, with this, if nobody else... I have yes. one last question. So, the, the club contest is just um, us? No, 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 or no. no. The the club, it starts here. Yeah. Whoever wins our club contest, and it's in three categories, international speech, table topics, and evaluation. The only person here in this room who would qualify for an international speech because she has two levels and pathways is Nicole. Lily, you're not too far behind. If you can do three speeches before the 14th of February, 
don't the speeches from before count anymore? Pardon me? No. For international. Speech. For international. You yeah. Have, you have but, to have two levels and pathways. Yeah. Doesn't the the six speeches from the no. co communication doesn't no, count no, anymore? No, 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 no. Uh -huh. Two levels That's and That's news pathways. to me. Uh -huh. Two levels. I double checked. I looked before. Really? Before I wow. Answer. I won't be any competition. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you'd have to do three speeches. You'd have to first of all finalize your level one, and then you'd have to do three speeches before the fourteenth of February, uh -huh. which is actually possible. So, without any further ado, <laughs> which I think is a bit overused myself, let's conclude this meeting. I hope to see you at the next postmaster meeting. But you can't come. Not at social event. event. Please note down the social event. No I'm sorry, Lila. The social, social event. event on tenth November. Well, I think, didn't I mention that? No, no, oh, please oh, do not oh, I should mention, I should yeah. mention, and this is really important. The social evening on Thursday is not subsidized by the club. It's every man and woman for themselves. So what is it exactly? Pardon me? Are we going to a restaurant? Or no, no. We to yeah, restaurant? you don't know about that? No. No, it is in WhatsApp. You should. I, no, I, thought I lost my messages in WhatsApp, ah. so I can't remember. <laughs> oh, please don't mention don't WhatsApp to me. Please don't mention <laughs> WhatsApp to me. <laughs> In any of these, it's going you know. on at a restaurant called The View. If you want, no, I suggest you get in touch with Ria. I, I, I have nothing to do with yes. that. The View is just across the den. Okay. And there's a fixed menu, and it should be starting at 6.30 in the evening. So with that, 